Hey, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to hang out a little bit here uh, as I wait for people to come. Um, as they're building my audience, as they like to say, on Facebook land. Um, I always try to get the right angle of the dangle, you know? You get, you get low like this, you get the big double chin, you get too high. You're, oh, I don't know, I look like I had a facelift. Look at that. No facelift, facelift. Don't you love the styling glasses? They're not exactly the greatest shape, but anyway. Um, I don't know what time it is because I'm a dumb shit and I didn't have my, camp, my uh, clock right near me. But I'm supposed to be live at 12.30, so I will just hang here briefly. Um, keep going. We're telling your followers to join your video. Isn't Facebook nice marketing like this for me? It's lovely. Um, so I know that there's some people that are hoping to get here, and I recognize that uh, 1230 can be you're on the road getting, you know, your errands done during your lunchtime, or you are sitting down trying to shove your lunch in your face, or you're not taking a lunch break and you're at your desk, whatever the case. Hopefully you're getting a lunch break. And those of you on the West Coast, which I have many friends on the West Coast, you guys are just kind of like getting in the groove of your day at 9.30 in the morning. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start. And um, so I want to introduce myself because some people may not know me. I'm Bambi Thompson, and I call myself a brain coach. So what I do is I work with uh, entrepreneurs, not solely entrepreneurs, but predominantly entrepreneurial women. Um, and I teach them how to leverage brain science, mindset, the human energy body, and the law of attraction um, so that they master fear. They learn how to transform anxious energy and blocks and limiting beliefs into success energy and then work with intention with the law of attraction to um, amplify their confidence, uh, optimize their performance, and um, uh, attract their goal achievement and their success rather than struggling for it. So um, what I want to do here is um, I'm going to do seven a uh, series of seven little live broadcasts to teach some of the mind hacks and power moves that I teach my women um, around the context of the holidays because as entrepreneurs we need to be managing life along with uh, all the things that we have to do to build our business and so it's imperative that we can stay in the game and still um, have the resources available, our cognition at its highest functioning level, so that we can build our business and continue to be successful when life can be a shit show sometimes. Um, I have two aging parents, and I have my hands full with things, you know, doing that long distance for both of them in two different places in the country. And needless to say, there are days where I'm very distracted and very stressed by what's going on far away from me and um, still having to have to run a business, actually two businesses in my case. So um, I want to give you all some support and each uh, time I will direct you to an, a free resource. I have lots of free resources. So I'm gonna, you're going to get a real sampling here if you stay with me for these seven days um, of being able to get some, some tools, some techniques, some resources that will truly help you for the rest of your life. Um, I get great feedback about that with my clients. So what I want to teach you today is uh, the first step in a, um, a technique that I downloaded that God gifted me, universe, source, gifted me, and it's called the stoplight anchoring technique. And um, it's a great way to be able to get your brain on board with what you want to be your desired state in any situation. So around the holidays, we have a lot of challenges. You know, um, there's uh, those of us who are trying to lose weight, we're facing um, a lot of challenges with food options that are suddenly enticingly calling to us, actually screaming at us <laughs> to eat them. Um, we have toxic relatives sometimes that we have to deal with. We've got um, ex-partners that aren't so fun to deal with that are a little bit more prevalent because we're sharing kids with them. Um, we're freaking out about money and scarcity because of all the uh, outflow for expenses of gifts and decorations and food and booze and la la la. Um, so 
it's really important to be able to get yourself into a state of balance when you're facing all of these triggers. So my first tool for you today um, in the seven day holiday sanity survival um, journey is to get your pelvic floor to relax. So what I want you to do is mentally connect into the front of your um, of your uh, pelvic bones, kind of the hip bones. If you put your hands on your hip like a cheerleader, you're going to feel those bones there. And then reach back and grab your ass and find the, the sit bone. The, um, not your coccyx, not at this end of your spinal cord, but you're actually, you know, your butt bone. Okay, and, and imagine that those are the four corners of where your pelvic floor lies. And imagine your pelvic floor to be an interwoven mesh of muscle fiber. And um, when we are stressed, we're very tight down there, you know, our sphincter is very tight, you know, we kind of joke around and say, what's up her ass, right? Well, it's kind of like literally people are stressed out and that pelvic floor is really tight. Now, what is that doing? We have a very large nerve that goes from our brain all the way down through our body there through that pelvic floor. It's called the vagus nerve. When the vagus nerve is squeezed, which it is when you're, when that mesh, uh, uh, platform is tightened in stress, it puts you into fight or flight mode. It puts your sympathetic nervous system into dominance. There's two nervous systems. There's parasympathetic and your sympathetic. There's two modes, channels, shall we say. When you're in parasympathetic nervous system dominance, you're peaceful, you're serene. It's like a meditative state. You're relaxed, you're calm. Your blood pressure is down. Your heart rate is relaxed. Your muscles are relaxed. You have lovely blood flow through your body. Your brain is at high levels of thinking, and you feel fucking awesome. When you are in sympathetic nervous system dominance, which most of the planet is 98% of the time, I would say, um, we have cortisol and adrenaline being released out, dripped out, surged out, depending on what's going on in your life, um, into your bloodstream. And it's creating a lot of damage to our arteries and our system. Cortisol is really um, and highly impactful in a, in a not great way in our body um, when it's at high levels all the time, sustained high levels. And um, our heart rate is higher, our, our muscles are tense, um, we have uh, you know a higher uh, breath rate, breathing rate, we breathe shallowly, so it's not great for our body, and our brain shuts down, because when we're stressed and we have a bunch of cortisol in our brain, it's like we, our higher order thinking goes and it goes right down. So by getting your pelvic floor to relax, it allows you to go from sympathetic stress mode into peaceful calm. So I want you to close your eyes and I want you to tap into that, those four corners of that plane and think of it as, visualize it as a plane of dots, okay? This is how I get my clients to do this the most easily. And what I want you to do is focus on that sheet. It's a sheet of dots. And imagine that those dots are floating on water. And I want you to begin to visualize and set the intention that those dots are going to start to spread apart. Focus on the space between the dots. And I can feel it already as I say it. So what happens is you're going to feel kind of a softening down there and maybe a warmth and maybe a dropping of your pelvic floor. Now this takes practice because honestly most of us are walking around with our sphincter really, really tight. And just as if you were to make a tight fist for a really, really long time, it kind of goes into spasm. It's hard to get it to relax because it's used to this. So this takes practice. It is worth practicing. I can't tell you how valuable this is to learn to get that pelvic floor to drop and relax. And what happens is you start to notice the warmth there. You start to notice that you feel a little more grounded. You feel a little more peaceful. You might have your shoulders, you might, you know, I actually take a breath because it's kind of like your body is self-regulating, right? From sympathetic me to like parasympathetic, which is that state that we have. That's why we meditate is to activate that parasympathetic nervous system. So that's step one of the stoplight anchoring technique. There's two other steps that are very, very cool that um, activate and amplify the, um, 
the desired state that you want. So when you're around your uh, challenging ex-partner, your ex-husband or wife, um, you can pre-game. I talk about pre-gaming all the time. I talk about energy hygiene. And energy hygiene is taking care of the energy field within your body and without your body and on the outside. That, that field, that magnetic field that you're radiating out is impacting everything around you. It's impacting people. It's impacting things. It's impacting your experiences with the law of attraction. So um, I want you to go to BambiThompson.com, B-A-M-B-I-T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N.com, and I have a free resource there, the Anxiety Breakthrough Jumpstart Kit. And it's a 20-minute workshop, and it teaches you the other two steps, which is, um, so first you get your pelvic floor to relax, and say, when you do this pelvic floor relax, you can visualize a red light down in your root chakra, which is right at the base of your tailbone, and um, say the phrase, I am safe. All right, so you visualize, you get the pelvic floor to relax, you visualize a red light, the uh, root chakra loves red, it's fueled by red, and um, red is where you feel the fight, that you feel either secure or you feel very vulnerable. And, um, you know, a lot of people feel vulnerable during the holidays because of the money demands or this, that, or the other thing. So by saying the word, I am safe, you get the bartender to, in your brain, to begin to relax and to put out serotonin and dopamine and oxytocin and the good chemicals that make your body relax and feel good and empowered and strong. Um, and most importantly, peaceful and calm, because that's where your power is, is in the peace and the calm. So um, go to BambiThompson.com, grab the free Anxiety Breakthrough Jumpstart Kit, and there's a, a meditation of music that's a beautiful meditation to use for the holidays to work on healing the world, healing other people, healing yourself. It's three minutes, like a cup of coffee for what it does to your body. It will bring you energy. Everybody needs more energy for the holidays. Um, and then you've got the uh, 20 minute um, from panicky to powerful in 60 seconds. If that isn't a catchy title, it makes you enticed to go get this thing. Um, it's a bunch of techniques for changing yourself from panicky to powerful in 60 seconds. So when you are thinking about setting your intentions, what do you want to um, experience this holiday season? Maybe for once you want to be really relaxed when you're around your ex. Maybe for once you want to be really empowered when you're around all the food and actually stick to your diet. Um, you can use the stoplight anchoring technique as a way to get your body and your brain aligned with the desired state and the new you that you need to be to be able to achieve that goal. So go grab that free resource. Like I said, every time I speak for the next seven times, it's not going to be seven days in a row, but they're going to be seven drips throughout the holidays um, between now and Christmas. And I will always direct you to another free resource because I want you to have the tools and techniques to really um, have a joyful, vital, um, empowered experience uh, with the holidays because it's a, it's a stressful time for a lot of you guys. So I hope this was helpful. Give me feedback at the bottom underneath this uh, live video and uh, please share it with people because I'm telling you, people need the work that I do. I'm a an non-medication anxiety specialist. There is a lot of anxiety um, out there and uh, people need these tools because they do work. They change lives every day. I get um, miraculous stories from my clients who are like, holy shit, this stuff really works. So please do share these videos with your friends and uh, comment below and let me know and go grab the Anxiety Breakthrough Jumpstart Kit um, at BambiThompson.com and it'll really, it's going to give you some cool things. There's some cool um, po uh, prosperity boosters in there too. So um, I really try to be comprehensive in what I offer people. Take care. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me and have a great rest of your lunch break. Bye.